Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all having a good day. Today we are making crab ragoons. Um, these are some of the items that we are using today. I have some imitation crab meat, some green onions, and I have the wonton wrappers. We have some soy sauce, and we have some Philadelphia um, cream cheese. So, oh, and I'm also putting shrimp in it. So, um, I'm going to chop up, like, little dices of um, the imitation crab meat. And then we're going to mix it all together. And I'll be right back to show you that step. So, I'm just mincing up the um, shrimp. You don't have to make them too small if you like to get bite size. Or you can make it really mince it up really good. But we want a little bit of chunks in our crab ragoons. Well, shrimp and crab ragoons. So, this is like good right here. And you just take some more and you just chop it up. You can put this in a food processor too and then it'll make it easier. But I like to do it like this. Make sure your knife is sharp so it can really cut through the shrimps. So I'll be back to show you the rest when I have them all chopped up. Okay, now baby T is taking over. I had to give mama a rest. And here we have two packets of softened cream cheese, a tablespoon of sugar, and now we're gonna be adding some chopped up green onions as well as some minced shrimp and the imitation crab. And lastly, a splash of soy sauce. So let's add. Just a little bit of soy sauce for now. Salt. And then we're gonna give this a couple of pulses. Or we not gonna You don't want to do it too much because you don't want it to be all the same consistency. You still want some chunks in it. So just a couple pulses. And if you have to, you could just move around some of the... you're done it should look something like this still has some chunks you know so I already started making some um, 
filling them in and closing them up. But I'm going to show you guys how we do it. So I use this little um, measuring spoon, like a teaspoon, and I put the filling inside. And we're going to pick up the wrapper. And then we're going to um, put water on all sides like that with our finger. That's to help seal the edges closed. And so we're going to take one end and we're going to go over to the next end. And we're just going to close, pinch it down and pinch it down. Make sure it's sealed closed because when you start frying them, you do not want your filling to come out. So you see how we have enough filling in there and this is... The edges are all closed. So I'm going to show you another one. So we got the filling in there. We're going to get some water on all the ends to seal it. And then we're going to bring one end to the next end. And then we're just going to seal it closed. And then we're going to come to this end and seal it close. And then we have it all closed. And then this is the last one. Seal all the ends. And then want to close it there's other ways you can close it too but we don't have to get all fancy we can do it like this a simple easy way and then i already have the rest of them over here and then we're going to start frying them so i'm gonna let these ones sit since i had this one sitting i'm finished with the water and we're going to get it <laughs> we're gonna get some of them and it doesn't take that long to start frying up so we have the heat on medium high and we're gonna start frying up You don't want to overcrowd it because you don't want to um, get the temperature down. So I'm going to get a few more in there. And I'm going to show you how they look when they come out. So now you see how they brown. We're going to start taking them out. You don't want to fry them too hard. This is nice and golden brown. You don't want to cook them too much, but you want to make sure that that filling get done in the middle because the shrimps is not done. We're going to drop some more in there. And then I'll be back to show you how I plate them up. Well, we just eating it like this because I don't like the sweet and sour sauce. So, but I'll show you how we plate them up. 